Jean Michel Bale, the young Frenchman. When we think of technically gifted and naturally gifted riders, Jean Michel Bale has to come to mind. In 1989, Mr. Jean Michel Bale came to the shores of America, you know, with some help from Pro Circuit, hoping to convince Dave Arnold and Roger DeCorsa that his hurt to stay after some inspiring rides in Supercross and winning the motocross national at Gainesville, that doubt was erased. You know, his acting stern as, you know, a formidable force. And he came to the American shorelines and showed him what's happening. But he briefly, after that, he briefly took a trip back to his homeland in France. After that, you know, impressing, you know, sharing his skill up against the likes of Jeff Wood, Ron Lachine you know, against caliber riders like that and Jeff Wood. So and then in 1990, Jean-Michel Bell came back to the American shorelines after that impressive ride in 1989, and he got a full-time ride with Honda at the age of um, 19, you know, after barely missing out on the championship to his teammate, Jeff Stanton, in the 1990 <clears throat> Supercross Series. Bale set his sights on the 1990 Outdoor 125 Motocross Nationals and he didn't mind re riding the Outdoor Motocross Nationals 125 being that he set out to win the Supercross contract in the 250s even though he came up short. So, you know, he was on a roll like winning like, he ended up winning like four or seven races in the 125 Motocross Nationals. Then a broken mom took him out of that. 1991, John Michelle Bale came out with a vengeance. He came out, he won the 250 Supercross. 250 outdoor title and the 500 cc class championship he won the 250 supercross title uh you know beating out his rival and teammate jeff stanton and he won the um 250 motocross championship i believe without winning a single race in the series in the outdoor series but in the 500 class up against the the likes of Jeff Wood, a strong veteran and strong rider and fast in his time, you know, John Michel Bell was a little bit more aggressive in the 500 class and he solidified his spot there and, you know, went on to win the championship there. But um, after that formidable and miserable season, the young Frenchman here that we know is gifted as one of the most talented and naturally gifted riders ever, he decided to, um, in 1992, you know, he lost. He started. He lost interest after he came over and won the three championships. He made it clear that he wanted to go rear bike racing. And in, um, in 1992, it was evident in his riding as he was just basically riding around, going through the motions, and handed back his old three of his number one plates. So for in a short time span, you know, John Michelle Bell came and said over what he accomplished. But it's a lot of what ifs. What if he, you know, kept focus and kept on going? What he would have furred up against the likes of you know, Jeremy McGrath, because we know um, John Michelle Bale was a technically gifted rider. But, um, you know, his career was short and exciting, and he did stamp his authority in America, but, you know, and he lost interest, and it was sharing evident in 1992 that he went to go race street bikes. He made it evident after winning their championships in 1991 and ended up losing interest. So, um, overall, you know, it was short and sweet, and it was fun to watch him ride. He was silky smooth, and, you know, he was naturally gifted. But anyway, it's nice talking to you, this is Jamal Hassel. I look forward to engaging with you. Have a nice day.